talk about is home tours. Now, I recognize that today, 99% of houses are selling like in a day, okay? They're selling super fast. So maybe if you want to consider doing a home tour today, what if you actually shoot the video, you know, before it goes live in the MLS? So the day it goes out, you can have a whole bunch of marketing that you can be able to push out and in an attempt to find the buyer yourself, you know, if you, if you've got the listing or if you have a team, um, you know, how do you, um, if you have a team, you know, maybe you can be able to, you know, give that to somebody on your team. What videos do best on Facebook? We're going to definitely talk about that, Robert. I got you on that. Yeah. So, so these ideas are all for Facebook and for YouTube. If you look at home tours, a great example, everybody likes looking at home tours. Okay. Everybody likes home tours. Now, where my um, inspiration comes from is MTV Cribs, right? So who remembers MTV Cribs, right? Back in the day, this was like probably what, in the late 90s, early 2000s, MTV Cribs was super popular. And that's where the inspiration for our videos come from, right? If you think about Cribs, they didn't show you every nook and cranny of the house. They just only showed you the highlights, right? The one thing they always showed you was inside of the refrigerator. And I'm not saying that you have to show the inside of your client's refrigerator, but that was just like the shtick of MTV Cribs. They always just showed what's in the celebrities, what's in the celebrity's refrigerator. So Cribs is a cool example. Check this out right here. I'm going to see if this video, let me see if this video play. Oh, it's unavailable. Oh, rats. So Ja Rule, right? What's interesting is Ja Rule, he um, basically, you know, I was trying to show you this video. Well, dang, messed it up. So, so Ja Rule was, was on MTV Cribs and it turned out it wasn't even his house. It was a rented house. He just rented the house for the weekend, had the, the film crew come in, shoot the video. And when they aired it, the owners saw the video, sued MTV. You know, it basically got taken down. I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe that's why it's not available right there. But it's just a funny episode because you see Ja Rule walking around like trying to claim this house. And it, it was never even, you know, it was never even his house, right? So we're gonna just be inspired by Cribs we're going to make our own versions of those videos. So here's a couple of tips, right? If you're going to go shoot a Cribs tour. So number one is, again, today, obviously I recognize the market is insane in terms of how fast houses are selling. So if you're going to be doing anything like this, you almost have to get the listing agreement signed, get all your marketing prepared so that the day it goes live, you can have a whole bunch of, you can have a big push happening in order to still get benefit from that listing. And it's not just selling the house because that was the thing that, you know, traditionally if a house took, let's say two weeks or a month or two months to sell, you had all that time to ca capture buyers and, you know, you have a lot of other benefits. So you still want to try to figure out how can you get those benefits. With my style of doing cribs tours, it takes two people, one person to run the phone or the camera and one person to, to actually be talking and running the tour right? So as a realtor, find a battle buddy. Your battle buddy should be somebody that, you know, helps you out when you need help. They, you help them when they need help, right? If you guys are, if you're going on vacation, they're showing your clients. If you're, you know, vice versa, if you get a listing, they come over and help you shoot your cribs tour and you guys go grab lunch afterwards or whatever. When you, you know, at the beginning of the tour, don't make people watch the whole video in order to get the basics, right? So when you can stand at the front of the house, like at the front door and be like, what's going on? I'm Nick. Let's go take a look at this house that just got listed here in Arlington, Texas. And this is a three bedroom, two bath house, 1,850 square feet. And let's go take a look, right? And then all now you go in. So that way people who have no cares about a house like that or whatever, especially if you're talking about buyers, then, you know, they don't have to watch the whole video to get some of the basics, just hit them with some of the small basics right up front, not necessarily the price. I think you could hold the price for the end or don't even give the price on the video. Hey, if you want to know the current price, comment on this video, wherever you're seeing it right now, we'll make sure you get that price right away, right? Or call me at this number if you want the price. I don't think you have to give it on, on the video. I like doing this as just one long shoot. So if you can go in the house, pre-plan your route. Okay, I'm going to go in the, from the front door. I'm going to go to the kitchen. After the kitchen, I'm going to go to the master bedroom. After that, I'm going to show the game room. And then we're going to end in the backyard, right? Have a, have a route so you pretty much have a plan. And ideally, just make it one long video. If you shoot a bunch of short videos and you reshoot and all this stuff, you got to get into editing and all that. That's where people struggle. And that's why people don't make videos. 
because you got to do, you know, all this technical labor in the background and it sucks, right? So this is a perfect Facebook live video right here. This is a perfect Facebook live. Just pre-plan the route so that it, you know, flows well. And if you bobble, who cares, you know, you'd be like, oh, wait, that's not what I meant to say. I meant to say this, right? And you just, you just keep the party moving. So if you do one long shoot, definitely better than short shoots where you have to edit and do technical stuff later. Because if you have to do that, we can both be honest and say, it's probably not going to happen. And that's one of the reasons, you know, one of the, you know, roadblocks for most people of shooting videos is who's going to edit it and make it look fancy. That's why I'm, a, I'm more of a guerrilla marketing style, like just go Facebook Live or shoot quick cell phone videos and not worrying as much about the production quality as much as the message, right? The message is more important than the production quality in most cases, okay? Look, if you make a mistake, like I just said, keep going. That's the best thing about being Facebook Live. So we got the home tour idea. If you don't, if you never watch MTV Cribs or you need a refresher, go to YouTube and just watch a couple, couple episodes of MTV Cribs, right? They'll be like 20 minutes each episode and just check out how they did it. You know, it was awesome content, really engaging, high quality. You can do the same thing with listings, your listings, other people's listings, as long as you have permission, new construction, there's a lot of options. If you're a new agent and you don't have any listings right now, go and start making video tours of new construction, right? I mean, there's other ways that you can find business besides having your own listings. Number